Okay, in this video, this is going to be defense against the two hand grab technique number two. This one's a little bit different than the last one. It's going to be a different arm application. It's a different pinning application as well. This one's not going to really resort to an incapacitation type of finishing of the movement. It's going to be more of a neutralization type of thing. There is going to be a strike at the end, but when you see how I apply it, it's, uh, it's going to be a nice type of pain compliant technique, plus the way how you have the guys arm jacked up and pinned out and the way how you're basically applying it just completely neutralizes them to where they can't move. If they start to move then your pain is at your fingertips. You can deploy it at any time within that, that pinning application and make him do whatever the fuck you want him to do. So with that being said, obviously same scenario. A lot of these scenarios you automatically have the app deployed. Okay? So Nick comes in and does his double grab. Okay? As he grabs at this point you're going to strike underneath this elbow. You're going to carry through. This has to get applied to the back of his tricep. So you're going to use your arm to get this up. Now we showed you a technique earlier, stand back up, of this elbow locking technique. Now we have a different elbow locking technique. So you're basically going to catch this behind his elbow, the upper part. Okay? So if we move this way, this, then your elbow. You're going to have it on the bottom part of the tricep. If you have this here, this still works, but he can maneuver around that and he can punch me, okay? Once I have this application here, because the way my arm is on an angle, I'm not grabbing up there because there's room for escape. So I wanna make this as small as possible. So basically, that's saying, give him the short end of the stick, take the short end of the stick. Don't grab all the way up there because there's room for escape. Grab as tight as you can and you roll this over as that elbow lock happens, okay? There's things that you can, you can easily deploy now from this position. You bring him down, you can go right up, do a knee strike right to his face, let him go, hit him if you had to. But we're not going that route. So right from here, you get this elbow lock, you take him straight down to the ground, you roll over on top to where you have the pinning arm locked up on your thigh, and you're leaning forward at this. If there starts to become a struggle, go right for that tricep, look at his face. You just start rolling this right on that nerve or you go back and forth. It doesn't hurt as much as rolling, especially if you're rolling towards you and in. Then you can strike with the baton on the side of the head or you can apply this right to his head and go back and forth or roll. If you get the actual part that's padded, this is going to roll nice and easy because it's smooth metal. Once you have that and you roll it, it's going to pinch the skin. Correct? You feel that? And the hair too. And the hair. <clears throat> because I have this little added feature, I could use this for one last good strike for a good measure to make sure he stays down. Then at that point you get up. If you needed to, you can come back up and smash that elbow and walk off if he's still fighting you. Okay? Hopefully what we just did would be enough and take my wallet, take my girlfriend, don't fucking hurt me anymore. Hopefully that's the case. This is one of the less lethal techniques that we'll end up doing. This one and the last one, the one that we just previously did. So he comes and grabs again. So right away, strike. You want to hit that elbow. See the reaction. Boom! Come up underneath this. Other arm. Lock this up on the tricep. Roll him over. If you don't lock this up right, he bends his arm. Then you're going to have to move to a different application, but then that hand's free to punch. And he's free to escape. That's fine. No, no, go back away. That's fine, because then you can still roll this over at that point, because you're using the ASP. And then still end up in the same exact technique. Now you're just going to be more pissed because of the fact that he escaped from what you did. So there's options. There's definitely options. So more time, he comes to grab, wham, you hit that tricep, come up underneath, make sure you get this locked. Okay, if you keep rolling, he can turn and escape. Then you're going to have to move to something else. So if he turns and escapes, you move to something else and you take them down at that point. Now you have this different type of arm lock or get them over at this point where you have this lock. Now if you just stay there, he can roll out. Roll out to your left. He rolls out. Now you're in front. Boom. He takes it in the mouth. And that's what she said. You get in this position and you're going across his body so you make sure that you, you keep him pinned. If you have to, you just place your hand on his shoulder and it locks up. Then you can apply the ASP. You can use this on the temple if you want. Apply that right there if you wanted. Or you can just keep applying this on the tricep. 
If you need to be a complete fucking asshole about this, this goes right underneath his neck and you can just choke him at that point. Don't throw up on my man, all right? See how fast that works? <laughs> There's a lot of different applications you can do, and it's minimal amount of work. You know, work smart, not hard. You don't have to go buck crazy with this stuff. If you apply the application correctly, you're going to get 100% effectiveness and 100% result, and that's what we want. So if there's mistakes that are made, the applications that aren't applied 100%, you can turn around and you can reverse, do something else. But you have to understand how this works and how this works anatomically with the body. That's the key thing with this, which we'll show you other videos down the road on applications like arm applications, single applications. So they won't be scenario based, but we're going to show you applications and how to get people in the arm bars, but not a scenario based technique. We'll just show you the application and how to work that. Okay. So more time, he comes and grabs, bam, you smack that elbow right away. Grab, lock up, roll him over. Drag him down to the ground, and this is not nice. Drag him down to the ground, move right into this position. Go right for your pin. Notice how I have his arm. I start leaning, or I start leaning this way, I'm gonna lock him up, and then this is gonna bring me closer to his head. And then you just apply, boom. Okay, or neck, whatever. If I have to drop down the one knee, like I said before, you get right underneath this. Lift your head up just a little so it doesn't hurt as much. Or you can get the jaw, and you crank on the jaw. That's going to cause a lot of damage. So when you're doing this to somebody, you got to be, got to be sensitive to the way how your partner's moving. You just can't go, oh, does this work? Does this work? And then all of a sudden, oh, dude, my fucking jaw. Got to be light. Okay, if you guys don't already know, this is my nephew. If you've seen his one arm, he has my last name. This is his last name tattooed on the back of his tricep. He's not cattle. I haven't branded him. He's just uh, representing the, the Sly family name. So from here, there's the choking application. Okay, so you have this. If he starts to try to get up at that point, okay, right to the choke. You have the choke. I have it on the side of his neck. If I roll it this way, I get underneath his body. I get this underneath my armpit. See how this goes underneath my armpit? I still have this application. Don't throw up on me. See how quick that is? Boom, punch right to the face. Fast acting. Get up, Mr. Slide. So one more time, he comes in for the grab. Remember, this is serious. You can do a lot of other things from this. Go right behind his head and pull this right into your forehead. Knee strike if you wanted. Hook this up underneath, take him down to the ground. Strike to the head, free technique. See how freely this works? It's moving, it's being, it's being intuitive with your technique. Knowing how to manipulate this anatomically against somebody is the key to making this technique and grappling techniques, submission techniques, locks, chokes, whatever. That's how this works. That's how you make it work is by understanding it. One more time. Comes in grabs, right? Strike the tricep, come up underneath. This is strong, right? If I have to loosen him up a little bit, boom, there's the knee strike. Then I roll him over at that point. Lock him up, I'm right up on top. Start applying. Oh, you want to mouth off? Okay. Here's the choke. He starts rolling. Okay, now I get to this. There's the choke. Then I can pectoral right from there. I can grab on the pectoral, skin pinch the pectoral, nerve, nerve, whatever, pressure point. Grab his arm. So then I go right on top of his arm so he can't do anything. The other hand, he can start hitting me with this. Okay, if I start applying that, it's gonna be a little bit different. Then I can go right for his throat as well. Then I have this. Look where he's at. Oh, now I got the arm bar. Can you move? I'm not gonna try. He's not gonna try. Why not? His Uncle Lenny's gonna do something even worse now. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. So within that technique, I probably gave you like another 15 examples of what you can do. So have fun with it, be safe, don't kill your partner, especially if they're related to you. Don't do it. Be nice. Be the asshole on the street when it when it comes time. See you on the next video.